Hey guys, the Cinnamon123 here with another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new features in Minecraft Minecraft 12W22A. Uh, the first thing, I'm sure it's what everybody's been talking about, is these new blocks called tripwires. Um, now tripwires are very cool. Um, if you'll just give me a second. Uh, there we go. Uh, basically what they do, uh, this is what they look like whenever you place them. You can't place them on the ground, but uh, you can place them on blocks. This is what they look like, and basically what happens is that you can hook up string to them. And uh, whenever you do that, you can just barely see it there, but I'm sure you can. Um, and whenever you have uh, everything wired up like this, uh, whenever you walk through it, it uh, activates them. You see the hear the sound of the pressure plate. Uh, well, if I go ahead and grab some redstone and uh, wire it up to that, um, it sends out a redstone signal. And uh, these have been designed for all sorts of mean traps and you know all that hoodywa and stuff like that. It's uh, actually a really neat idea. It's a uh, basically a pressure plate that extends as far as you need it to and only has one output source. It's very uh, nice if you want to, to try and uh, make a very difficult trap to get around. Uh, something else that has been new, um, the villagers, their trading system has been updated. Uh, just looking through you can first see that there are two trading slots now because some uh, things that they want to buy requires two items like this villager will go ahead and break the gravel for you and give you all the flint that you could want um, as long as you provide them with an emerald as well as the gravel um, but also there are some new things that they are selling like for example the villagers um, they well for one thing they do the flint um, they buy cooked fish um, they sell arrows uh, I haven't noticed anything new with these guys. I saw somewhere a librarian selling something new. I can't find him anymore though. And um, I also saw this guy. Now this guy has some very nice new recipes. Unfortunately you can't sell him the Eye of Ender anymore. So um, there's no real power trade with this guy as far as uh, selling things goes. He buys them. But also, uh, he'll take any tool that you have and he'll enchant it. And it's the same enchantment every single time. So it's no more guesswork as far as this goes. And you can see this is actually a pretty good deal. A diamond pickaxe and uh, an emerald to get this pickaxe with efficiency 3 and unbreaking 3. It's got some very nice deals. Otherwise, his inventory seems relatively unchanged. Um, also, I've noticed that uh, villagers have uh, much lower limits as to how many things they'd sell you uh, out of their inventory, so um, or out of the total things they can sell. So there are a whole bunch of things that they'll uh, buy and sell now, but uh, a single villager isn't going to give you all those things. Something else new that's been added is the block of emerald. It's just made by uh, putting a whole bunch of emeralds in a block like that just like you would any other block um, now you can't make uh, emerald tools I've tried it it doesn't it doesn't work uh, but you get this nice little block right here whenever you craft it it looks quite snazzy if I do say so myself um, kind of got the look of an emerald to it um, a little minor fix that they've done is uh, in creative mode you can now uh, punch a minecart one punch and it will break instantly as opposed to uh, before it, it kind of uh, you had to punch it a whole bunch of times um, that isn't true for mobs though they can sit there and they can take a real pounding uh, before they'll die uh, a new, another new thing that I'm very excited about here just let me si set the uh, time today time set day is that there is a brand new game mode um, now you can't activate this from um, the start of a game, it would be very uh, well difficult to survive more than however long your hunger bar lasts. But uh, you've got this new mode called uh, Adventure Mode, and basically what that means is that uh, I can't I can place stuff down like that, and I can attack mobs, um, but uh, I can't break 
any blocks like here. I'm sitting here trying to do this. You can still interact with a great many things. Um, so like here, if I wanted to craft, I could still do that. Um, and I will take damage. Uh, just jump down this hole right quickly. Uh, I will take damage. It is a pretty good way to um, maintain your world. Now, uh, also, a nice little debugging feature that they've added is that, um, let's say you had a chunk error or something, uh, just press the F key, and you can see how the uh, uh, the edge of the world that I can see comes in for a second. Well, it's basically like a re-render world button. So if you come across a visual chunk error, um, you're not going to have any issues with um, the... What is it with with them anymore? Basically, because you can't get rid of them. Um, now, one issue I have noticed with this pre-release and all the pre-releases recently, actually, but uh, whenever you die, uh, you have to save and reload the world in order to get um, your face to return to normal. Um, also, something I'm just gonna cover one more thing in this little segment. Uh, the pausing is back in single player so you can see there I'm not falling to my death but if I just go back to game I can pause it again uh, and I'll land and I'll take the damage from that and everything is just fine now one more thing that is new um, or rather fixed uh, so you know how whenever you would log out and log back in all the villagers would lose their skin um, well, now whenever you log in and log back in, uh, they keep their skins. So we can now know which uh, type of villager we're working with at all times. Uh, it, this guy keep this, kept his skin. Um, this guy kept his skin. I mean, I've been logging out and logging back in trying to get these to mess up. And I just haven't got it. Um, now, some of the vi some of the pathfinding seems to be a little bit uh, messed up. Uh, you can see it particularly with the villagers right now as they're trying to hu all huddle in this one house. Um, but I've noticed a few issues with uh, uh, creatures r walking into walls and stuff like that. Um, just some little pathfinding things. You just see people doing like this an awful lot, trying to get at you. Uh, feels a lot like Alpha Minecraft, if any of you guys were around then. Alright, now um, there have also been quite a few changes made to enchanting. Um, you can see here that uh, this r setup right here, uh, the maximum level output that we can get from this is 30. And you can see that we can always get the level 30 enchantment regardless of how many times we sit here and pop in the uh, numbers, we'll still always get a level 30 enchantment. Um, now there is a little bit of a uh, downside that they've done, they've kind of downgraded enchanting just a little bit. Um, so if I sit here and I fill this up like uh, we used to with enchanting, I'm still only going to get a level 30 enchantment. So uh, you spend less levels, you're guaranteed to spend less levels, and you can get uh, more consistent yields, but um, unfortunately we can't have quite as powerful as enchantments. However, uh, they have also rebalanced the enchantments, so you see uh, at level 30 I'm able to get you know, quite a few good um, swords. It's just not going to be as good as um, they used to be. I haven't s uh, managed to enchant anything yet that had uh, three enchantments. I have bought one from the priest. Uh, I believe that the the, uh, the villagers clothed in purple, they can provide um, up to level 50 enchantments to you if you really want them. Um, but so far I haven't uh, seen any uh, three enchantments on any tools that I've enchanted myself. There's also been one more magical addition. Um, if we go into the brewing of the creative menu, oh, finally, we can access all of the potions 
currently brewable in Minecraft. So nice to be able to get these. I mean, like, look here, I can just sit here and splash fire resistance around all day. I can just sit here and I can switch to poison and, and I'll poison these villagers here. Ha ha ha. And they'll get poisoned. So it's, it makes it a lot easier in uh, as opposed to creative mode. I wonder what happens. You get healed and get hurt. That's weird. Um, but uh, basically, uh, it's going to be a lot easier for people making survival maps to uh, make survival maps because uh, uh, you can just put these little potions in there. And you don't have to spend like hours and hours crafting them or anything like that. And it's just a nice little uh, addition that they've made to the creative inventory. Uh, the last addition that has been made to this um, uh, snapshot is that uh, now walking into a uh, lighting area like that will almost always make it go away. Um, and also there appears to be far fewer uh, I mean you can just fly over this jungle and we can see uh, used to just about every single block that had a block over it uh, was pitch black in the last versions. Oh, oh dear. Okay, we're good. Um, but uh, now we kind of can see that there are very, very few and uh, they're at least easier to get rid of here. Like I believe that might be a lighting error. Also pressing F uh, can double check them get me an apple um, but uh, it, it, it seems like they are reduced in quantity and also far easier to deal with so uh, that's definitely a great improvement that they've made alright I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please take a second to leave a uh, like or a comment I definitely appreciate whenever I can get those <laughs> anyway, um, wow, that caused a lot bigger explosion than I expected. Uh, I guess until next time, uh, this is the Cinnamon123 signing out. I'm going to clean up.